What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a quick two to three minute fantasy football breakdown of whichever player you selected because this is a pre-recorded intro. Now if you want to see a more in-depth breakdown of whatever player you selected it'll be in the description below or a notification on top. I've done a previous video on most players so you can find it anywhere on the channel. If you like what you see today please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We have plenty of fantasy football content coming your way before your drafts so stay tuned and let's get to the video. Alrighty, so Saquon Barkley is my number two running back in both PPR and standard leagues. And it's because I think he's the best talented, the most talented running back in the in real life NFL, which usually translates pretty good for fantasy football. Now, I love Christian McCaffrey and Zeke Elliott. They're both great players, obviously. But the way that Saquon Barkley moves at 230 pounds, the way he cuts, he accelerates, the speed, the catching ability, it's unmatched. You don't see it from guys like this. His size, there's no, not many guys in history that move like the way he does. He's Adrian Peterson. Now, his 2018 season, his rookie year, was really great. Really great. It was phenomenal. I mean, that made him arguably the number one pick last year in fantasy leagues. This past season is a little different. He missed three games due to injury, and he had a lot of good games and some bad games. You know, he had 43.9 points, 30 points, 28, 22 fantasy points. But then he also had games like 9.7, 8, 8.1, 7.7, .7. and he missed three games due to injury. So, you know, it was a little up and down for Saquon in 2019. There's no new running back in New York that really steal any targets or carries. Deion Lewis was brought in. Not much there. I mean, he had one little flash with the Patriots, and other than that, he's been pretty much silent. Jason Garrett comes in as the offensive coordinator, which I know most people would go, Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I like Jason Garrett, but what he was good at was making Zeke Elliott a top five running back every year of his career that he played 16 games. So that combination with, you know, not really any new talent coming in to, you know, take away any any work from Saquon Barkley, uh, offensive coordinator who's going to run the ball like crazy and knows how to get his RB touches, the Giants offensive line. Wasn't great last year, but they drafted offensive two offensive tackles, one in the first round, one in the third round. They have a deep receiving core with a great tight end, a quarterback who looks to kind of be on the rise, had a great rookie season, a good rookie season, I should say. It, it just It's a lot looking up for Saquon after last year where it kind of seemed like it was all on his shoulders. It, it just wasn't a good year for the Giants offense, and I think this is definitely going to be a bounce back season for him. The reason I don't have Saquon at number one it's just because Christian McCaffrey's so good and he's so safe. You know, you know you're gonna get 100 catches from Saquon or uh, from CMC. You know you're getting 100 catches. Saquon Barkley, rookie year, he had 80. Last year, he had I believe 56. So you don't know what kind of reception toll you're gonna get. New offensive coordinator coming in. Zeke Elliott really only had one big year of receptions in uh, in Dallas, and the rest were you know in the 40s, 50s range, which is good, but. For Saquon Barkley's ability, it could be a lot better. Barkley has one of the highest upsides of any draft pick you'll take. I mean, I think he's relatively safe. Like, I don't think he'll finish if he plays all his games. There's no way he finishes outside the top 10 RBs. There's no way. But there's a strong possibility that not a lot of guys have. He can finish the number one overall. He can beat Christian McCaffrey, you know, Michael Thomas, whoever. He can beat all these guys out for the number one spot because he's so darn talented. I can see, I can see the big blow up season coming happening for Saquon Barkley. And that's why I have Saquon Barkley number two. 